We have another about face from a Trump ally turned critic, harsh really? critic, very harsh, really? turned ally again, despite previously warning that a second Trump term would be, quote, chaos. Chaos. And let me just say this correctly, a horror show. You're not saying this. No, I'm not. Who's saying this? Bill Barr. Bill Barr, that's right. Boy, chaos. He, he said it'd be a and nightmare. And a horror yeah. show. A, horror, a nightmare. A, so, 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 yeah, so, yeah, I... I, I'm sure he's going to be campaigning for President Biden to try to stop this. To madness. try and avoid a horror show. A horror yeah. show. Who wants chaos and so, a horror uh, show in the White House? Former Attorney General uh, Bill Bar Barr mm -hmm. now says he plans to vote for Donald Trump in November. What? Wait, but... Do these, do these guys know that... I don't understand. Uh, anyhow, in a Fox News interview yesterday, Barr was asked about uh, this year's general election choices. Here's what he had to say. Given two bad choices, I think it's my duty to pick the person I think would do the least harm to the country. And in, in my mind, that's uh, I will vote the Republican mm, ticket. You I will. will support the Republican ticket. I think the real danger to the country, the real danger to democracy, as I say, is the progressive agenda. And uh, while Trump and I said uh, Trump may be uh, playing Russian roulette, but uh, continuation of the Biden administration is national suicide, in my opinion. Uh, you know, um, uh, but no, that's just such a lie, and he knows it's a lie. And this is Charlie. We're going to play some clips in a second, but I just have to stop. We we've got to stop and call out the lies when these people know that they're lying. Barr is playing, I guess, for a Fox News audience because he wants to keep giving sure. speech. I don't know why he's doing it. He doesn't believe a word he just said there because he knows how chaotic Donald Trump is. He knows, as he said, that him yeah. being in the White House again would be a horror show. He also knows, listen, Bill Russian Barr, Lent. you and I, we all agree on, like, the progressive agenda. We're not supporters of it. We also know that Joe Biden has spent his presidency, like, give, feeling pressure from progressives because they say he's too moderate. This guy from Delaware... Who, 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 again, is not some left-wing wacko, and Bill Barr knows that. But he would rather have chaos and a horror show, he says. Than anybody. That guy's going to vote for... I, I, listen, I've been through this before with people mm -hmm. that, that talk that way on TV. And afterwards, I ask them who they vote for. They go, oh, I voted for it. You know, he's going to vote for Joe Biden because he knows that the national <laughs> suicide doesn't come from Joe Biden. He may not like all his policies, but it comes because Donald Trump has said, you know, it's going to terminate the Constitution. He's going to be a dictator from day one. He's going to use SEAL Team 6 to execute his political opponents if he wants to, and nobody can do anything about it. I can go down the line. Barr knows this guy can't be president again. No, he knows it, and this is a choice. I mean, this is one of those the WTF moments where you have uh, you know Donald Trump waging this this campaign to undermine the rule of law. Bill Barr knows all of this, and he's decided it's a binary choice because in his world, um, in order to stay relevant and viable, uh, he has to he has to put party over country. I mean, literally, when he uses the phrase literally Russian roulette, when he uses the yeah. term Russian roulette, he knows the danger. He he poses. He doesn't have to do this. Look, the, um, you know what is extraordinary is the contrast between what Bill Barr is saying and what the former Secretary of Defense Mike Esper is saying. There Vice President Mike Pence is saying, yes. "No, I'm go. not going to endorse him." There are exit ramps. You are not required to look at Donald Trump and say, "Okay, because I don't like student loan forgiveness, I'm going to put a man who is clearly unhinged, who clearly, um, you know, tried to overthrow the government, called for terminating the Constitution." That we could spend the next ten minutes just walking through all of the things. Somebody who has been found liable for rape. Uh, put them back in the Oval Office. But I do think it is interesting, the, the, the contrast between Bill Barr and much of the rest of the cabinet. 
And we need to you know, you know, remind ourselves that never before in American history have so many people who work so closely with the president um, taken the position that, you know, don't do this again. We've seen him. He is unfit for office. Uh, you do not want right. him back in the Oval Office. The fact that Bill Barr reminds us that he is a, a political hack um, is, is, of course, interesting. Um, but, but also realize what, what he and people like, you know, Governor Sununu, are going to have to defend. They're basically going to have to say, yeah. and and this is this and this is radical. I mean, we we ought to continue to be surprised by this. You know, up until like five minutes ago, um, nobody in America would say that a convicted felon should be elected president of the United States. Now they are all saying it up and down the ticket. They have to defend what Peter Weiner calls the kaleidoscopic the kaleidoscopic corruption of Donald Trump. And and this is not just Chris Sununu. It's not just Bill Barr. Up and down the ticket, they're going to have to explain that, yeah, we don't care about this man's character. We don't care about how deranged he is. We don't care about his his crimes or what he intends to do as president. And the fact that Bill Barr says that it's Russian roulette for the country to put Donald Trump back in the presidency, and he's okay with that. What a remarkable moment. What a remarkable moment. And you're right. They own it. He owns it. Chris Sununu owns it. You know, a judge said, you know, Trump, Trump is a rapist. Uh, you, you know, said he's going to terminate the Constitution on day one. Um, <laughs> said he's going to be a dictator on day one. Um, of course, January the 6th, continuing to praise people that beat the hell out of cops and were ultimately responsible for the death of four police officers, according to their families. I mean, they own all of this and so much more, Mika. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.